1976, a band emerged from the greater Boston area with an album that has to be heard to be believed. The band in question, Band X. No, not Brand X, Band X. Although, somewhat confusingly, both acts released their first albums in 1976, and in the case of Band X, their singular album titled The Best of Band X. No, not a compilation, an actual album, the brainchild of vibraphonist Craig Payton, and from that album, the track Picking Mushrooms with Rabbit. <laughs> two instruments that we're hearing so far are supposed to represent mushrooms and rabbit. And if so, uh, which is which? Would the, um, would the string be uh, the mushrooms and the vibraphone be rabbit or vice versa? strings because I'm not seeing them offhand in the credits. Huh. And that is uh, Craig Payton who would later front um, Oh, some, uh, some other bands under his own name and uh, be quite prolific over the next few decades. Kind of a peppy tempo right here with really staccato uh, interplay. conjures up sort of an anth anthropomorphic, an anthropomorphic uh, vibe musically. I, 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 because it reminds me of, of, the, of the kind of uh, incidental music you'll hear like in old um, Looney Tunes. <laughs> basically got two layers. We got the moom, 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 and then we got the tinkly doom, 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 doom. <laughs> hear that, hear the uh, glowy uh, vibraphone that, that's playing under the, uh, the woodwinds. Yeah, it's being kind of like buried, but it's giving like it's it's creating like this glow underneath the woodwinds. It seems like it seems like all the uh, layers are, are just kind of like doubling up on one another. The woodwinds, um, the, the cadence of which are being matched by the drumming and and the vibraphone, which is like sandwiched between it all. Everything is 
it's just ta 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 drummers using mallets like on kettle drums or something or maybe just like mallets on toms lines are quite common on the album those sort of like loopy slightly spacey bass lines with the sustained notes on them kind of like a smooth sustain being encircled by this guitar this this, this like tubular guitar sustain Maybe that's the synthesizer actually that Yeah, it's synthesizer. mistaking that now but uh, I, I am curious as to what the uh, make and model and settings are basically just a uh, groove in between half steps like D um, E flat synthesizer kind of like like envelope and yeah, just like envelope and oscillate and subtly getting faster and faster. Once again, things are like doubling up on each other and matching cadence-wise. Like the, the, right here, the, the piano and bass are, are basically mimicking. And the drumming too, they're all like in lockstep. That's kind of a, a unusual, I guess, in, in, in this kind of music from the time period where um, they're they're alternating the these uh, the these phases where where everyone's just like playing in unison versus like where people are, are just kind of playing counterpoint. It's, it, because in most uh, most uh, instrumental bands of the time period would just uh, focus more on the counterpoint. Mm. <laughs> Now they're starting to kind of come undone from one another. Yeah, 
the uh, vibraphones adding kind of like these echoey um, nuances to the uh, main like bass piano figure. <laughs> That's the key of the band's um, like hypnotic spacey quality. They go in and out of playing like in lockstep um, and then counterpoint and they slowly kind of wind up and then wind down like subtly getting faster then slower again and that matched with the unique sounds that this band is employing like like smooth bass um, staccato vibraphone and piano uh, clean, um, slightly enveloped synthesizers, uh, and, and soft drumming that sounds like it, it's like, like padded mallet, um, drumsticks, uh. Soft yet punctual drumming. Yeah, that was uh, Picking Mushrooms with Rabbit by Band X from their 1976 singular album, The Best of Band X. Let's hear another track from the album, Rip Van Winkle. Somewhat of a different uh, structure than anything we heard in that last track, a bit more, a bit funkier. Very uh, subtle use of vibraphone, adding that glow once again. Actually, this one was um, is, is a collaboration between um, Alan uh, Grzybe and Craig Payton. Um, Grzybe wrote the, however you pronounce that, Grzybe, uh, uh, wrote the uh, last one himself. And he, on this album, he plays, um, Alan Grzybe plays bassoon, tenor saxophone, soprano saxophone, clarinet, keyboards, and Craig Payton, uh, vibraphone and percussion. And we just had a tease of some crisp bass. Now that was quite an interlocking moment there. Uh, the bass is courtesy of Victor Preston. Electric bass, bass and trombone played on this record. <laughs> talent on display from uh, the guys who were surrounding Craig Payton on this record. Uh, their, their only credits outside this album were the uh, 1980 release by the Craig Payton group. 
the main, basically a, a follow through on this project. <laughs> some real fluttering going on. Pretty impressive. Really kind of like, uh, oh, just like birds in flight sort of vibe. And uh, considering the title of this track, I'm wondering uh, what part of the story this passage is supposed to represent. <laughs> supposed to represent let's see we're about um three-fourths of the way through is this supposed to represent the part where rip van winkle comes back into town looking for his family <laughs> Again, the whole piece could just maybe represent like one small snippet of the story. No, this is probably the uh, the part where he wakes up. spacey sound that in the background that and that drumming is by Joey Bolomo who um, I guess uh, recorded under an alias yeah and um, you know I had a little bit of activity uh, beyond uh, Craig Payton's orbit that was quite a tight final moment there. Yeah, that was Rip Van Winkle by Band X from the 1976 Self Press The Best of Band X. Yeah, re released on their own self-titled label in small quantities back back in the day and then um, given a major reissue or uh, it, it's had quite a push in recent years since it was I reissued for the first time in 2012 and then 2014 and has uh, been gaining quite a reputation in the last few years is uh, an album quite ahead of its time and quite uh, just unparalleled really I mean uh, that's why I didn't go into many descriptions because uh, descriptions just don't do music like this justice. Um, I uh, noticed how um, there, there wasn't a lot of changeover in this music. There, there wasn't like a lot of like abrupt changes in, in like different sounds and textures. It's like everything just kind of like fades in, does its part for a while, then kind of fades out. Things kind of just like gradually kind of interlock and then gradually come undone yeah it's it's so it's in that in those ways it's different than, than a lot of the other stuff i've covered so i just kind of like had to let the music do do the talking yeah anyway brand x rip van winkle and before that picking mushrooms with rabbit for more rubies and sapphires from the very ruby packed Band X album, the best of Band X. See the directory of albums 
um, from 1976. Linked in the description below. Like and subscribe and follow me on social media and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the two tracks we just heard. The layers, the nuances, the instrumentation, the sounds, how they wove together, how they complemented one another, um, which passages stood out to you. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear travel trimaximalist, signing off.